Welcome back to Raft Mechanic. It might have been a while, but today we are gonna enter a warehouse. So the rest of the crew of our trader is um, held captive in these warehouses apparently. So I better not let them wait for another month. Now we've got the harpoon gun last episode, which is a really powerful gun. And as you can see, it's gonna fire these harpoons, which we sometimes can pick up. As far as I know, it's just a random chance. Um, but you should actually be kind of powerful against bots or walks, you know, uh, like this. Just three hits. Um, I think the, the tape bots are still gonna be a nightmare or we might actually have reduced the damage. But I'm not entirely sure. It's best if we don't have to find out. Now, all I need to do is just uh, stock up on some harpoons. We should also, yep, I think it's a lot of oranges because we're gonna need a lot of food. Yeah, I don't know why I actually grew potatoes since uh, we have now need to use the harpoons anyway. All right, now that I um, took care of the crops, are 10 oranges gonna be enough? I think I said, yeah, I stocked up on so much food over all these episodes. Like we have 18 sunshade. Oh, and there's the warehouse key. I should not forget this. And here I'm just farming uh, some glow. I, I definitely didn't forget about clam diving. Oh yes, I think I need some batteries. And that's why I've been farming the glow, right? That should ensure that I'm not gonna run out of juice. So the next step would be to stock up on these harpoons. And as we can see, we just need a bunch of metal for them. And yeah, I still have quite a bit in my chest. Sadly, I never got the cookpot, so I'll have to do with the sunshake, but I like sunshake a lot more anyway. Now I can either take the sticky mining vehicle with me or my speedboat. Now, theoretically, I should be able to get into the warehouse with this thing, but the extruded metal blocks aren't that durable, so they may get destroyed. And this also is like zero protection. I just, yeah, I'll have to take the boat. Okay, um, I just got rid of all the batteries I crafted, so I hope this is gonna be fine. And yeah, all my containers are full. I should probably clean them. Like another four sunshake. It's incredible. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to pick up the harpoons I just crafted. I have 68. There's like one missing. We should probably get a good night's rest since I might not even survive the other day. Oh, there's a two-story warehouse there. That is so convenient. Like, I, I barely need to move at all. Oh god, I really forgot how fast this is. You know, I thought there would be some kind of epic journey to the warehouse, but you know, the rap mechanic, you just... You just go, because there's like nothing in the way. It's just all water. Okay, now this thing doesn't have a fancy scope, and it has a lot more projectile. Okay, it doesn't have as much projectile drop, and it, it one hits the tape bots? That it wasn't even a headshot. Wow, it really is powerful. You know, I just hope there's not gonna be a farm bot around. Although the harpoon gun should be able to kill it quite quickly. Oh, component kits. But yeah, of course I'm walking around the entire warehouse. But damn, this harpoon gun is just so strong. The warehouse is gonna be easy, as long as I'm not gonna get surprised by a lot of uh, tape bots, which there's like a high chance it's gonna happen. But there's also only two floors, so might actually not have to die. Right, let's call the elevator. I forgot that the quest text automatically updates. Right, so now we need to find the caged farmer trapped in the top floor. Oh, I can already hear them. Like, I can't, like, what was the last time I legit did a warehouse run? Must have been such a long while ago, because I don't really enjoy this at all. I can hear the bots crawling around. They might be like behind every corner. You can never feel safe. Actually, one-hitting them is such a big advantage because once the bot is dead, it can't alert any other bots. So we just have to be really sneaky. Uh, sneak Actually, I could just um, kill all of the bots because they drop batteries and component kits, which are both resources I very much like. Yeah, I think we actually need to go this way. I have a feeling. I could swear there was a tape bot up here. Oh, it's up there. I mean, down there. Oh, I just got hit and we took 55 damage. So they are completely unchanged. Gotta be really careful. Oh, there's another one. That was close. Uh, oh my god, there's so many and we are dead. I hate warehouses. <laughs> Good thing we just spawn outside. The tape bots are really close, but I need to get my, my stuff. Okay, guys. Spear time! Oh, okay, I've got one down. Come oh, on! So close. Is there a single person on Earth who thinks warehouses are fun? Maybe I can sneak up to the bot. Yep, it kind of worked. And they still take two hits with the spear. Anyway, finally I can get my stuff back, which is... Ah, I should have left some, like, ammunition on my raft in case I die, but I didn't think I would die, because, you know, it's just a warehouse. How hard can it be? The worst part is I can just hear. I can hear the tape bots everywhere. It's traumatizing. 
Yeah, I okay. I did not see that one coming. Are we actually getting close to the elevator? I can't tell. I just know there's so many tape pods. Already the next one trying to murder me. I like imagine with the spot gun where you actually need two hits to kill them. Sunshake, sunshake, sunshake. Okay, there's like six of them. I think this also was completely unnecessary. Well, was it worth it? Yeah, that awfully looks like the elevator. It says elevator. Yes, I can finally be done with this single. I'm so glad this is just a two-story wheel. Yeah, I just used the harpoon to activate the button from afar. Kind of excessive, but I still have like 55 of them left. Wait, it's actually forbidden to use cars inside the warehouse? I mean, to be fair, they're not really useful here. Like the layout, I feel is always the same. You know, it's always this long hallway. Then we need to move left. And now we're also gonna face our first explosive um, tape bots. Exactly two of them. Like, I can just predict it. Um, now to the left, there's gonna be more bots. Yep, got one. Now, okay, I think we actually need to go... Yeah, we need to take the other left. And there's also gonna be bots. I, I said it. I said it. Good thing I got my sunshake. Because, you know, it's always a bright day with sunshake. I forgot how much stuff... Like, I put into this mod. Now, okay, I don't want... Like, these few component kits are not worth dying over and more tape pods. No way in hell. I can already hear the next one. It's truly terrifying. Like, imagine hell is just being trapped in a warehouse forever. This is gonna lead us to a staircase, actually. Okay, wait, there's no bots around here? Anyway, this should now be the long hallway. Okay, it's so dark, I almost didn't see them. Oh, yeah, that's the cursed walk crate. So this is gonna lead us down a hallway with actually a bunch of bots. They once took me a lot, very by uh, surprise. I remember, like, this has been the same layout for years, I think. I was just walking around here playing some sneaky music, and then all of a sudden I was assaulted by, like, three tape bots at once. Oh, yeah, you can actually see that sneaky um, bot over there. And yep, there's another one. I told you so. And there's number three. How do I remember all of this so well? Guess you just can't forget the trauma. Okay, this is not gonna lead us to the storage room. We actually now need to go to the um, vent. But it's pretty easy. You just uh, always go straight. Um, then, I don't know. I never really had trouble with these. Like, I always go to the top. And I think that's the secret. Yep, there's already another exit. Now, this is careful because I think there's two explosive tape bots around. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. I have a feeling I'm gonna have PTSD at the end of this. Hate warehouses so, so much. And I'm not even an Amazon employee. How are they supposed to just, just die? <laughs> okay, that blew away all of my cover, basically. Oh, it's the same story, repeating all, like, all the time. Because these bots are way too close to the access of these vents. And now there should be the storage room nearby. Yep, there's the storage. And that means we should have killed all the tape pods. Perfect. Now, at least we're gonna get the warehouse loot, though we still need to actually find the caged farmer that's somewhere on, on the top floor. If we're lucky, he might be where the loot is, which is very convenient. All right, uh, let's check. Oh, yeah, um, I forget that this room is empty. Kind of hurts, like, me to see how much the warehouses, like, have not changed in two and all of years. Because, look, there's a symbol on top of this. They have added, you know, all of the encryptors and stuff. You know, obviously, this is meant to be placed here. And, you know, they never actually added that stuff, which is really sad. I think I heard something. Can you hear it? Um, I think those are the sounds of a farmer. So, did we actually... Look, we, we... That's a caged farmer. Well, let's first take up uh, all the loot with me. I'm sure he won't mind. Electric engine, mega pog, component kit, very nice. The seat is also pretty epic. Garment boxes, well, that's just more raft armor. Then we, oh, carrots. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry, actually. And another seat. Oh, that's decent loot, I would say. All right, let's check out the chest. So we've got our usual garment boxes and uh, three explosives. Yeah, that's pretty new. I, I wonder what they are for. All right, let's, let's talk to the farmer. I was just using the bathroom because my bottle was full and now, uh, well, I sneaked in some explosives here a while ago. I've tried breaking the wall down there to go out, uh, get outside, but maybe you can finish the job now. Okay, I don't think the farmer likes working in the warehouse either. So we need to find a wall we can blow up with the explosives. And we need to escape the warehouse and let Wurfer rescue the farmer. So yeah, I assume we'll just, uh, yeah, <laughs> obviously we need to get the farmer all the way to the vacuum pump. 
which is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, good thing I actually have my base where the trader is. Now, how the hell are we gonna get this thing out of here? Uh, oh god, I, I hope he's fine. That was actually... I mean, I could also have, like, used the staircase, uh, but I don't think we'll need it anymore. Ouch. Why is the farmer not tumbling? Anyway, so the farmer said something about breaking a wall down here, and... Like, this is uh, looking pretty sus. Or well, we have three explosives, so we might as well just try our luck. Oh yeah, of course we need to place down on a lift. Only then we can actually place the explosive. And we should also be able to use the harpoon gun for this. And let's see. Damn, oh. Uh, okay, so the wall is actually really thin. It's giving me drywall wipes. But anyway, um, is this actually where we want to go? Oh, there's a loot crate. And a component kit. That's actually pretty pog. Now, yeah, this this looks really familiar to the elevator. And yeah, that's the elevator. That is really, really convenient. So I think we'll just need to get the farmer up here. And uh, I hope we can get it, get him up there. It's gonna, might be actually a little bit tricky. I guess in the worst case, I could just blow up more. Come on, get up there. Okay, oh, it's working. Perfect. Why can I still hear tape bots? I hope they can't kill the farmer. We're so close. You just need to get into the elevator. All right. Stay right there. It should be the last floor, so I'll just have to kick him off the entire warehouse. Oh, I'm sure he won't mind. I mean, it doesn't look like he's ever gonna need his legs anyway. Ah, oh, I can see the sunlight again. Now, I am not entirely sure where my raft is. Well, I guess we're just gonna kick him down the warehouse and figure out the rest later. Okay, is the, is the, um thing actually holding the farm oh no it isn't why the hell does the fence even exist okay oh my god i hope he doesn't fall through the ground okay why did we only take 24 damage this should have killed me so badly i even got the seats i was just about to place them down on a leaf to safely get down but i don't think i need to anymore now we'll just need to find my raft Oh, it's over there. All right, I think there should still be like one or two tables alive. So I don't want to explore the rest of the warehouse at all. Like I never want to come back to this. How do I get him onto my raft? Can I weld him? Nope, it's not. He's not whaleable. And good thing he can actually swim in a metal cage. That, I don't think that should actually float. Did I? I also took all the plastic blocks with me. That is actually really inconvenient. Well, is it just me or is one of the collectors actually missing? Was there a shark? Okay, I um, we have 20 wood blocks. Guess I can also use component kits. You know, when you're that rich that you actually use them as a building resource. Yeah, I just need to build a cage around this current cage. I hope this should be enough. Okay, maybe the speedboat actually was a mistake. But as long as I'm real careful, it works. <laughs> and now let's just eat him onto the land. That has worked so much better than I expected. And then we just need to roll him all the way to the trader. Oh, I could just use my uh, mining vehicle. You know, this kind of feels like Rocket League. But I think it works surprisingly well. Yeah, that's definitely faster than poking it with my spear all the time. I'm coming to rescue you, don't worry. Biff is almost there. Turned out uh, much better than I expected. I only died once. We've got uh, 10, 18 component kits. That's actually really nice. So let's just um, let Biff do the honor of <laughs> sucking the farmer in. And uh, we just completed the quest. So let's see what the trader has to say. I've missed company for so long. Keep rescuing more of my crew. In the meantime, I'll think of a plan to get us all off this planet and return home. Now we need to read the, read the chapter 2 lock, because, you know, we just unlocked chapter 2. I mean, not really. As you can see, it's been 26 in-game days. I mean, not entirely, because the day counter doesn't take the day skip into account. But yeah, this is all of the raft mechanic story so far. Really... We can do whatever we want now. At least we can now get new warehouse keys at the trader if uh, we need to rescue more farmers. Damn, soon I have enough garment boxes to cover my entire raft in it. Yeah, um, I'm not really sure what actually to do now. So I would really love to hear your opinion in the comments. We could just like grind a few more resources, build um, some like tree cutting vehicles, maybe um, upgrade our miner, return to the mechanic station, pick up a cookpot, stuff like that. We could work on building a giant boat for my base instead of this land base, which when was the last time I actually put this into the water? I'm sure we could spend a few more episodes just doing this. Or I guess I could spend some time uh, working on chapter two of the mod. Well, but I'm not sure how much you want to see me mod the mod because it will probably Probably also, you know, contain spoilers for the chapter and such. And if I'm gonna work on chapter 2, please let me know what you want in chapter 2 of the mod. Because it would probably also be the last chapter. So I'd like to add everything the mod really misses at this point. And yeah, I'm just 
interested in your opinions, and we'll see what happens. I'll see you in the next draft mechanic video.